Hello, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. Today we're going to be talking about the laundry room and just making it a functional space. So we are actually anticipating a delivery later today. I found a huge, gorgeous armoire on Facebook Marketplace. I have truly been so stalking it. I know I've said that in the past. I've never stalked it so seriously. I knew exactly what I wanted and it just wasn't in the budget. So I found the second best thing. I think I haven't even seen it in person yet. Unfortunately, it's so large. It doesn't fit in our van, even with all of the seats taken out. So we have to, we had to hire a um, I think it's called a task rabbit and they're delivering it tonight. So hopefully it all goes smoothly with that But I'm really excited to bring that in here and I'm gonna share some of the things that we've done in this space to Just keep things nice and organized. I feel like we have a pretty good system going It's been a while since we have been in the laundry room since I filmed anything in here and a while back, I filmed a video in here with Cricut and we organized and labeled all of the bins and basically just everything had its own spot. And I'm really glad to say that it's, I don't know how long it's been, but at least a year, I think. Good while and we're still in great shape. So today's gonna be a little bit about organization. We're gonna get to see the new armoire. You're gonna get a laundry room tour and we're gonna do a little bit of decorating in here too. Um, not overboard because again, this is a space we're in every single day. It can get busy and crowded in here when I'm folding laundry and just everything is everywhere. So we're not gonna go crazy, but I do wanna bring a little bit of spring into this space. So I'm very excited about that. Before we take a look at the laundry room, I am going to put in a little bit of footage from a trip to Ikea that I took just a couple of days ago. It's very short and sweet. And I just went to my favorite spots, honestly. So it's not like a full shop with me or a full tour or anything like that. I really wanted to check out their pots. Um, like their vases and their vessels and their plants and their frames and just what they had out for spring. So I grabbed a couple of things, didn't go overboard, really just a few. So I'll share what I grabbed when we come back and then we'll pick back up tomorrow once the armoire gets here and we'll do a little bit of decorating and we should be good. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and take a look at my footage from Ikea. There were so many beautiful table, like placemat, table setting pieces, chargers. I loved all of the textures, all of the different patterns. They had different shapes from squares to rectangles to round and uh, just so many great things for like outdoor eating, eating in your sunroom, your home. Uh, I, I was really excited and just felt inspired and ready for this warmer weather. I fell in love with these light green coffee mugs. They also sold them as a set with the saucers and I just fell in love. So I think I might go back at some point if I do like a little coffee bar video or something like that and add a little bit of pop of green in that space for spring and summer. I think that'd be so pretty. I loved this beautiful pitcher. It was ridged. It was gorgeous and it had the spout at the bottom. I was thinking about grabbing that actually for the laundry room to put my laundry soap in, but ultimately I got to thinking and I was like, 
it isn't really necessary. Is it ne- a necessary expense right now? And it fell into the category of no. So I didn't bring that home with me today, but it also would be great for hosting and serving lemonade and tea and things like that. So someday I might go back and grab that. Now, I also love the selection of frames that are at Ikea. They always have a great selection of the golds, the whites, the woods, the blacks, all kinds of different shapes and I really love them. I will note that Target's frames, if we're just comparing Target to Ikea, Target's frames are definitely more durable. They're definitely more heavy duty and better quality, but at Ikea, you're hitting that really low price point, which can be pretty tempting. And I'll be honest, we have a lot of Ikea frames in our house. So I'm happy with both. I've got a good mix of frames from all over the place. Um, But I did want to note, sometimes the quality isn't quite there when it comes to their frames. Now, something that I always love to look at is their greenery and their vases. They have real and faux potted plants. They have all kinds of gorgeous wreaths and stems. Um, Honestly, just such a great variety. So I always love to check those out before I head home and they're always on the way to the big warehouse and to the register. So you can't miss them. I loved these white flowers, thought they were so beautiful. Um, I wasn't on the hunt for these necessarily on this day, so I didn't pick any up, but they were so pretty. I grabbed two of these pictures because they were pretty affordable. I want to say they were 12 or 14. I think that I captured the price in the shop with me, but I loved the little uh, ridge that was at the top. And just for the price, I felt like these would be great to have out when we have get togethers and gatherings. And I have a baby shower that I'm hosting later this month for a really sweet friend and thought, These are just gonna come in handy. These are good stable pieces. At Ikea, glassware is so affordable, so affordable. So I'm excited about those. And then I'm really excited about this. I have two different ideas. Actually, I have three different ideas for this. So I will share how I would use it. So this is actually a planter basket. I think I might go back and get some more because I think these would be really pretty out on our porch. This is a different material than like say this basket here. This one you wouldn't want to get wet because it would mold, but this is more of a plastic. The reason I initially purchased it was to put it on top of our white armoire that is in the front entry room, the one that used to be in here. I need to put something on top of it. And I was thinking like a big wide, but yet like shallow laundry basket with some handles. I haven't run across one yet, so this could temporarily work really well in that space. The other option is like on the back of a toilet, depending on the shape of your toilet, uh, you could possibly put some toilet paper or some little hand towels, some room sprays. It may be slightly long, I haven't measured it or tried it, but that's something that came to mind. And then the other thing that came to mind which is what I'm hoping to use it for. Um, My camera is actually on my window ledge right now in this room and I was thinking I could possibly set this up there and put some either faux or real plants. They're gonna get some good sunlight from the window. So that was my thought. Now, the last thing I grabbed, I also grabbed two of and they are these shelves. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them yet. I'm still kind of waiting to have Chad kind of hold them up in the bathroom, but here's the sad news. So my sweet husband, he rarely 
ever pushes back, I mean rarely ever, pushes back on anything that I want to do in the house, anything I want to bring into the house. He he says, his word's not mine, <laughs> that he just loves how everything comes together and loves when I decorate the house. So I cannot be upset, but he does not like that pine shelf. And I mentioned putting it in the bathroom and I think I told so many of you in the messages from that video that like, I think we're gonna get it in the bathroom, I think we're gonna put it in the bathroom. That poor man, he just does not like it. And I suggested painting it, which some of you suggested as well. And he said, then you just like completely take the value away because you're just putting a coat of paint and covering this beautiful pine. So he does think it's a beautiful piece. He does not like it in our house. So here's the thing, if you're local, check out our marketplace on Facebook because I'm gonna be selling it. I just, I, I don't want to put something in the house that he doesn't love. So I'm thinking about putting potentially two of these over the toilet where we, right now we've got that big round, it's like a wall basket, but it's not a basket. It's totally flat. So we'll see. We're going to play around in that. That was supposed to be this week's video, but then we had kind of a dilemma with the shelf and it just became a whole thing. And I said, you know what? We need to find an armoire for this space. Anyway, I need to do some things in the laundry room, so we're, we're gonna do the laundry room this week. Okay, friends, if you are newer to my channel, you probably have not seen our laundry room, so this is where we're gonna be spending our time today. Now, this space is basically finished. However, we are missing a piece of furniture that we usually have in here because we moved it to our front room. So we have like a sitting room right when you walk in the door. And we moved our big, white, beautiful armoire. I'll input some um, footage here so you can see that. We moved that out there because we found that we really don't enter in and out of our garage. My van is parked in the driveway and that's usually the door that we use, the front door. So I wanted to have our shoes accessible and our coats and everything closer to the front door so we're not walking through the house with dirty shoes. So here we are, that brings me to the laundry room. So tonight we are getting a delivery of a beautiful wooden armoire. And I haven't decided yet if I'll be painting it or leaving it as is. I do know for the time being it's gonna stay as is because I'm not up for a project right now but it is massive and it's gonna go here. And I knew that I wanted to put another armoire here. I considered a dresser, I considered like a console table or a sideboard to use as a folding table, but ultimately we could use the extra space to put the kids' school things, um, like their special keepsake papers and things like that. They bring home so much. So over in this corner here, let me back up for y'all. Sorry if this ends up being a little bit shaky. But in this little area over here, we have like a command center. So this space is where the kids will hang up their backpacks, their bright red beautiful <laughs> wanna bags. And then we have three hampers. There's always dirty laundry in this house. So those are our main level hampers and then they have one upstairs that they all kind of use together. And then I have school calendars, Awana calendars and things like that up there. So this is this little corner. And if you have any questions about paint color, about the hampers, about our hardware or really anything you see, the faucet, the sink, even these adorable little detergent dryer ball and clothespin canisters. I did a tutorial on these with Cricut and it was so fun and so easy. So definitely go down to my video description. You can see the video where we came in here and totally organized everything. So all of the cabinetry is organized. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. It is super bright. The sun is shining in right now. But like in this one, we have our electrical, we've got our batteries, we've got light bulbs and things like that. So everything is fairly organized up here, which keeps life simple and I can really appreciate. And then I do have a basket up here that sometimes I'll 
honestly right now I think it's like white towels and things like that but I'll use sometimes to put clean clothes in and then carry upstairs so this is kind of the gist we do have some paint we need to touch up on our door unfortunately but that's just life and that happens so the big thing today not to make you guys super dizzy <laughs> is well I should say tomorrow is that we will have the armoire in here we will do a little bit of spring decorating and just making the space as functional as possible and I am so excited. So one thing I did want to share, so this is the main water to the house, the shut off valve, and I guess turn on. Um, so we need them to be slightly accessible. We are going to be able to hopefully cover them with the armoire and would be able to scoot it out if we needed to access that. The other thing that's going to be a little bit of a dilemma is down here. So this is our floor vent. It's not like the other floor vents that are in our house because it the actual like hole in the floor butts up directly to the trim so we are going to have to get a flat floor vent cover and Chad is going to have to somehow kind of makeshift it probably cut one we'll see maybe we can find one that works and we don't have to do anything to it so I'll keep you updated on that but for now that is kind of where we stand. I'd love to put some fresh flowers in here or something just to kind of spruce things up for spring. So let's go ahead and take a little break and I will catch you back once we have this new armoire. Okay, my friends, it is the next morning and she is here. She's massive and she's here. So we had measured, and I think I may have mentioned either on Instagram or at the beginning of this video, that um, the armoire that we currently have is actually pretty shallow compared to most armoires when I was doing my research. And so we knew that we were going to be getting something a little bit deeper than what we had before. So the good news is this one versus the last one, we are not going to be accessing this one on a day-to-day -day basis. This is going to be more of like my decor storage I think I'm going to use it for. So it's not going to be really an issue with the doors open constantly and things like that so there is plenty of space and I usually will fold laundry and either sit on the floor or I will fold it and put it up here we were able to get this in here and just ever so slightly cover up those I would just say obnoxious um, water shut off and turn on little valves. So that is closed. So thankfully we're not looking at that anymore. Now we did have a little bit of a snafu down here with the vent. This is kind of a temporary situation. You can tell that it's not completely secured to the ground. So this is something we're going to continue to work on and get it just right. Um, but for now, we, we did find a solution. The reason that we ended up having to do this down here, and I don't know if I fully explained this, there is room on the left to scoot over a few inches and have zero conflict with the floor vent. However, then you have about two inches of this sticking out of the wall. Um, let me see if I can bring you guys over here closer so you can kind of see them. So that's really what I was trying to avoid having to look at that eyesore. Let's get a little bit closer so that I can show you what the inside looks like. We're gonna have to turn up our brightness here. So this is the inside. It's actually a very, very nice piece of solid wood furniture. So they had it set up with a cord, like an electrical access, I suppose, for a TV. They were using it as like a TV cabinet with extra storage. But it came with these shelves as well if you didn't want to do that, which obviously we're not going to do that in a laundry room. So we've got our shelves up here and I'll be putting just like my 
things I like to access a lot but don't necessarily always have out like extra pitchers and vases and candles and kitchenware and things like that that I don't necessarily want to go all the way into our storage rooms and have to dig out. I've got them like here for easy access. Now down here there are three really really nice drawers. So this is the inside of the drawers and I think I'm going to put some dividers in here and that way each kid will have their own section of schoolwork and just special like keepsake things. Because we did end up losing our hutch storage in the breakfast nook when we sold that and kind of redid that room, I think that I'll probably use the bottom two drawers for extra table runners, table linens, things like that. So we'll just see, we will play around with it. But that is kind of the, the inside. Over on this door, we've got a full length mirror, probably need to clean it, but that's kind of nice to have in there. So it's a really nice piece of furniture. I don't think that I'm going to paint it, but don't hold me to it. I like the warmth that it brings in here and um, honestly, to paint this would be such a project. So I, I don't have plans of doing anything to it aesthetically as of now. I'm really curious to hear if you have heard of these flowers before. So I came across them at Trader Joe's. They're called Peony Double Tulips. I've heard of peonies and I've heard of tulips, but I just haven't heard of peony double tulips. So I'm really excited to see these bloom. I followed the instructions on the little pouch that they were kept in, and it said to go ahead and trim their ends and then uh, keep them wrapped up in the package for two to four hours sitting in some water. So I did that already, and now I'm taking them out, trimming them even more to fit into um, the vase that I'm going to use. This one I've had for quite a while. I think this, actually I've had it for a really long time. I know exactly where it's from. This was a wedding gift from a sweet family member from Pottery Barn a long time ago, almost 12 years ago. So it's a beautiful piece. I've used it for utensils and I've also used it as a beautiful vase for flowers and we're we're almost in springtime and I love bringing fresh flowers into the house. Trader Joe's is one of the most affordable places to find them if you have one local and honestly they have just the most beautiful assortment of florals and greenery. So I'm doing that and then I'm adding in a picture frame. This one I had in my kitchen just a week ago and it had been in there quite a while but I swapped that one out with the citrus print from Target so I had a freed up frame and thought I'd kind of hide my outlet over there with that now I'm coming over to the laundry area and I am adding some fresh white towels these are not our best towels just so you know if you're looking at them and seeing they're not in the greatest of shape um, but I wanted to fold some up here now of course I'm just styling this so these towels won't stay here forever but I wanted to kind of just set the tone of the space and I think it's really pretty and it's quite often that I would have towels folded on top of our washer now bringing in the basket from Ikea. I'm just so happy about this one. I added some little hand towels down at the bottom to kind of prop these plants up. These are little rosemary plants from Ikea. Not from this trip, I've actually had them for five, six, seven, eight years, very long time, but they still sell them. So they sell the most beautiful little herb plants that are faux and they're so affordable can't remember the price off the top of my head but we're talking like probably six dollars and just putting them in here gives a little pop of green i was able to use something i already had didn't have to spend any extra money and i love how that little spot in the windowsill turned out I 
I wanted to take a moment to share about this really cool magnetic towel holder. So I did share this in my original laundry room video where we did um, all the organizing and all of that. Uh, but I wanted to share it again because it's been quite a while. It is amazing. I'll link it down below, but it just is magnetic and sticks right to our washer. Friends, thank you so much for being here for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Now, don't forget to check out the video description where I will have sources for a lot of the products and things that we used in this room from hardware to sinks and faucets and laundry hampers and the things at Ikea and so much more. I will also have our paint colors, the flooring that we used, and pretty much anything you could think of listed in that video description. But if you check that out and you still have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. Thanks again for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye friends.